said anything negative. Uh, we are working with the mayor. Uh, and uh, the other week, I think it was, I had called in uh, Senator Nina uh, Turner. And uh, the mayor and I met with her, and we had some um, things that we wanted to uh, deal with the city. She asked us what we wanted to see. And ironically enough, both of us, the mayor and myself, had basically the same uh, things that we wanted to see take place. So we are working, we are trying to pull together, and I'm sorry um, uh, that um, you didn't get a chance to hear a presentation, but you will get a chance to hear a presentation. And I am still saying, Anyone that comes into our city and wants to be on our agenda will first have to talk to us. It's not about the $10 million. I take $2 million right now, but I need $2 million. Because we're $5 million in the hole. But we're going to be, according to what I was told today, we stand a good <coughs> chance of making it out of the fiscal emergency and being able to pay our bills. And I am ecstatic about that. Amen. And I know that my council is going to be ecstatic once they go, get a chance to go over the um, uh, financial recovery. My uh, clerk has made a copy for each and every one of the council that is sitting here. So we will be dealing with uh, that. And I had to take some more time to give you all of this information. Thank you. Thank you. Moving right along. Proclamation. Proclamation. Good evening again. The first proclamation is the commend the Shaw team ambassadors, the mayor, and Belinda Kyle for their work, and all the partners that were involved. It was a great event. We saw these around the city. It rained that day, and we still had a great crowd. Uh, we hear so much negative stuff about our young people. But if you see the mural at Terrace and Superior, they've done good work. We want to thank also the uh, master who kind of guided Professor Ed Parker. Okay. I think it's respectful to read these young people who were 19 that worked on this. And uh, it was a very positive event. And I'll just read their names without reading a lot of this, but I'll say the uh, Jawan Arnold, Aaron Brown, Crystal Brown, Inez Chavez, Joshua Curry, Caldevaris Demings, Rochelle Foster, Maya Gilbert, Tamara Harris, Braxton Jeter, Devlin Lovelace, Whitney Mack, Jawan Oliver, Kaylin O'Neill Ferguson, Anthony Price, and Anthony Price is a very special young man. I had a chance to speak with him. He's doing a lot of things around you, and he's got a lot of potential. Isaiah Reed, Brittany Shaw, Tyrell Walker, and Aisha Yates. And this proclamation is supported by the entire council. Kresge Foundation played a role in it. Uh, and it's about creating community. So it was a good thing. That's one proclamation. If you look at my lapel, I went to a 90th birthday last year. Her name was Margaret Barbarino. The Barbarinos have been on Wymore for 40, 50 years. But she died. And uh, yes, I kept this. It's funny how things turn out. I kept this, so I took this when I went to the funeral. And I'm just going to read some briefly about Margaret Barbarino, who loved her, her family. Uh, her physical presence is missing. But she loved her family, especially.
She didn't live moved out of East Cleveland in the times that I went over her house. Uh, she was always vibrant and vivacious. So that funeral took place this Saturday, way out on 357th in, in Euclid. Friday. Friday. Uh, so let's keep the family in prayer. Now there was one last one that I, I had on here that I got through my office too. Uh, I did the teen, I did Isaac, I did Barbarino. Just one last one. Which one? Yeah, Tiffany Fisher. Okay. Uh, this touched my heart. And I'll say it again because I think it's worth repeating. The youngest child that ever attended a council meeting, two and a half. Her grandmother brought her here. Everybody loved it, and the family loved it. This is an unfortunate situation. And this is a special proclamation that I'm going to read the whole thing. The East Cleveland City Council would like to take time to extend our condolences to your family considering the recent loss of Tristan Isaac Rashad Hall. The little angel was called to the Lord. Although his life was brief here on this earth, the loss of Tristan Hall, the one that is felt not just within our immediate family, but also throughout all of East Cleveland. We will always remember the time that Tristan was introduced to council and the entire city. And I'll also say he was also went to Black on Black. I think he was at the library. The two and a half months that he was with us, he got around. <laughs> Heaven's gain was our loss when, I, when an angel was called by our Lord. Tristan Hall was taken too soon. His physical presence here on earth would be greatly 